permanence. It's the lamp. It's the dish. Permanence. It's the computer. It's the material things. Or is it permanence? What is permanence? Is it the food I eat that comes out as shit? Is it my skin and my flesh and my bone? Is it the words I say and the things I do that make permanence a period of time? Or am I just standing still and time is moving all around me? It's probably truer that there's no such thing as permanence. Because given time and the movement around us, there's a secular pattern that we all fall into, either prey or predator. You know what's funny? I was uh, thinking about a friend of mine and I called them up on the telephone and I said, hey, how's it going? What are you wearing? They said, Bermuda shorts and my toes are in the sand. Well, I say, how's the night sky? We're coming into Taurus and anything can happen. I think it's going to be a chaotic destruction. Guns and hypodermic needles, pig masks and bars and raves. I don't know where you stand. If you're square or a triangle, octagon, who knows? But I just think in terms of where we are and what continues on after we're gone and all the things we surround ourselves with in this moment. It's a channel that is left behind. And as long as there's a computer, a stool to sit on, a couch for comfort, a table with food, a drink, a smoke. As long as we have those things, I guess we're okay. And we can just be here in the moment now. I don't know. Sometimes I think we're all just dying on this planet Earth. I'm moving towards our final destination that all of us are really unknown to because we haven't experienced it yet. And we remunerate so much on where we come from and when we began. I know that I'm a Libra rising and I have a Cancer moon and sun I like that about myself, that I'm a rat, and I've always been an instigator. I've always been someone who got up on the dance floor first and just set the motion for the night. I've always been that one who said that thing that you recall as being something much more grandiose than I ever delusioned. But, you know, isn't that what memory is? Just a delusion? I have a mother who suffered early onset Alzheimer's. And I recall coming to see her after visiting the mall. And 12 different times I was asked the same exact question verbatim. What did you do when you were at the mall? And 12 different times I thought of different stories that kind of like stemmed along the lines of what I did at the mall, but 
different stories every time. I don't think we should really like hold people accountable to what they remember exactly and how we regale something because that's all it really is. And if we could just find fun in the moment and don't allow others to transcend what it is you are because that's the order that you'll find your cycle change of the patterns that you don't want and the future that you do. So fruition is something that's a beautiful thing when you have a vision of where you see yourself. And I hope that you do in all the, you know, wondrous of just being yourself and being you with the ones you can, cause that's really what life is all about, is just being you. On this Thanksgiving of uh, celebration and feast, I say to Goddess and God and the coincidence that you happen to be on my channel and listening to me now, if I was brave, I would do this live and I would set a date in a time and I would be there for you but I can't make that promise or commitment so that's why I do what I do because it's not a confession of mistrust of others confidence or even the fact that you and I are here in this moment because uh, that is really the agnostic of it all is that we are here in this moment. And, uh, you know, I'm not missing you at all. And you don't even know me, really, other than to see what you see when I'm on this recording of yesterday, because right three seconds ago, it's already passed. So, I just want you to know that, uh, I uh, really respect and have dignity for myself. The time that I spend alone in my own company and the things that I do in order to uh, entertain myself, I find strength and courage and sage wisdom. I uh, get a little high. I like to drink. And I should. Because I can afford it. Living on thin air. The economics of life. Putting out what I give out and getting back what I do. I'm totally even Steven girl. To the point where like down to the one penny in the bank left him until the 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 check, you know, the weekly check, the pump up on the mid month, the work that I do. I do counseling. I'm a life coach and I just kinda of put myself out there and encourage others to be the best that they can be. And uh, I produce art and etchings. I love to knit. Uh, I hate cooking. I hate floors. I hate windows. I am more likely to throw the apple core at the sink than I am to get up and walk over to the garbage. And I nail the sink every time. I have cats and pets. My pets are my neighbors and my cats are my domicile. Outdoor and indoor. I get gifts and people are kind to me. I have stalkers. 
I've been attacked on numerous times, but I've broken the cycle like I tried to convey to you over this last message of just uh, kismet and um, you know, it's like, oh man, the bumps and the creaks and the cracks at night, when's the last time you saw a ghost? I lived in a house where my mother-in-law died. I was cleaning out her room and I had everything laid out and systematically, well, for no reason at all, these things came crashing down and I knew her uh, recluse because she was a recluse in the house for 25 years. And uh, died a pauper without a will. If there's anything you can do to your family, leave them a will. It's one thing you can put paper on. Because we live in a paper this world. There is no reason for you to be writing a book or putting all that paper out there. If there's a receipt, what do you need a receipt for? Like, you buy a donut and you get a receipt, ink and paper for a donut? We don't need paper. We don't need books. We have this. Yeah. I'm in the Western Hemisphere, enjoying the night sky. It's a day after. I noticed that there was black tar on my door and on my banister coming up and wiping on my door a person. There was a... knife along the alleyway which fits perfectly on the inside of my door and it wedges to keep the lock down. I put a drum there too, cause I drum, I'm indigenous. And if anyone ever came in while I was slumbering, my cats would let me know, but there would be a loud bang. On all my doors I have security. Not quite like nails in a door that come down when you enter, but the cats do attack. In fact, my one cat shits in the toilet. So I just kind of like puts away, not taking shit from anybody. Always be aware of your surroundings. And, uh, there she is, the cat that shits on the toilet.
Shiva.